Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for the last trading day of 2022, December 30th, 2022. Well, yesterday we decided to get a little bit spunky here, and the market popped up. As I had mentioned, we uh, chopped higher on Tuesday. We chopped lower on Thursday. I suggested yesterday that we might chop higher on th um, Thursday. And this morning we have futures looking down. Maybe we'll chop down on Friday, who knows? But what we can see here in the diamonds chart is we really haven't changed anything. It's been a very wide range um, of chop in here. But as you can see, we're still bound between these resistance areas in the chart and the support areas in the chart. We've really gone nowhere, um, um, just doing a lot of chopping around. And that has really been not all that much of a surprise. And you can see we've done the majority of that with very low volume here um, on the chart. So I would expect more of the same today. Uh, we do have a little bit of data this morning that could provide a little bit of uh, pop around or maybe a little inspiration, but it's unlikely that it'll be enough to really change a lot. And then considering the fact that everyone's gonna be heading for the door, pretty early today to um, start taking in their long weekend and holiday plans for the first of the year. Let's take a look um, at the Dow here. You can see still holding in this price pattern. We're still holding above this downtrend break, which is certainly the, um, the most bullish of the charts out there, the smallest index, but the most bullish in the charts. If those bulls can continue to follow through, then we'd look for um, maybe some resistance right in here to come into play if they can push on up um, i if they push through there then hey you know we've got upside um, opportunities all the way up into here so watch that close if the bears were to find some inspiration today or if we chop back lower look for some price support right around that area right there in the chart and if they get really fired up for some reason today, then um, maybe a test down in here. If we were to break down below there, I think things could get pretty ugly pretty quickly here in the market. Now, if we take a look at our um, SPY, well, our SPY certainly made a nice move back up. We're testing this resistance again here in the chart. We tried to break through, didn't quite make it um, um, by the end of the day. Um, you can see if we can get through that level right there, then we can maybe push up just a little bit higher and see if we can test this level right in here, see if we can pop through there. And I think it's pretty unlikely with the volume uh, probably going to be pretty light. I doubt we get a chance to push all the way up in here, but hey, you never know. Stranger things have happened, right? But that would be a very significant resistance level in the chart. You want to keep in mind that um, SPY um, on this failure here um, broke that support. Now we're consolidating that move underneath resistance. So the, we do run that, uh, that chance that we break uh, where this fails, we break this on down, um, considering the fact that we are still underneath the bearish downtrend overall in the SPY. So if those bears find that inspiration, well, probably look for a retest of the lows down in here, maybe. We might watch for that. And if they were to break that, well, then I'm afraid. Um, we're probably moving substantially lower here. And honestly, I doubt we find the energy to do that today. But you never know. Like I said, stranger things have happened. So keep a close eye on those price levels. Our technicals here, particularly in um, the, the rest of the indexes here, are not in a bullish um, 
pattern at all. As a matter of fact, they form fairly significant resistance levels along with the price action of the chart and those moving average squeezes here um, that could resist us moving up. Now, as we look at our QQQ, I still believe, even though we had a nice little bounce yesterday, QQQ is the weakest of the indexes here, um, probably the most likely to test um, uh, new lows. Um, whether they'll do that today, I don't know. Maybe we'll hold the low for the year. Um, but you can see we rallied up here, but honestly, we didn't change anything. We ran into a little bit of price resistance. Um, and now we're, you know, backing off here just a little bit this morning. But if those bulls can push on through, then we'll start maybe looking for some levels up in here um, to... Um, to test um, as resistance. Now, keeping in mind, uh, QQQ also breaking this price support level and just not coming back from that, just pushing um, all the way down. We still are underneath our bearish trend here in the chart. We're not looking good on the NASDAQ. And if those bears find inspiration, well, then I would expect a uh, potential retest down in this area and of course if that breaks then we're looking down here at the 2022 lows once again i th i doubt we're going to find that much inspiration today to really get a lot going but you know it's a it's a low volume market so anything can happen um institutions could really crank up their algos and 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 get things going one way or another but i would kind of suspect we're going to be very light and choppy in the price action after the the volatility around the morning open um again if we take a look at our technicals here in the chart this is where we're very, very weak in the NASDAQ. Notice that our 50-day moving average is starting to bend and turn to the downside. Our shorter-term moving averages have crossed down through that 50-day moving average. So even with a significant rally back up to test the level up here, we've got some challenges ahead of us here on the NASDAQ. So watch that close. Now, taking a look at our IWM, IWM also had a good bounce back yesterday, but once again, we really didn't solve anything here in the chart. Um, you'll want to keep in mind we're still under the bearish downtrend. We popped up in here testing some resistance in the chart. So those bulls found a little bit of inspiration in there to get things going. If they can follow through today, well, maybe a little bit higher here. Um, might be uh, doable and test this level up in here and if that can break maybe up into this area here in the chart and again I think that would be a little bit of a stretch for today if we uh, find bearish inspiration well then once again I think we're gonna maybe test these uh, this consolidation low down in here and if that were to break then we're going to be moving down into some of these areas in here where we have those little support lows in the chart here again in this chart our technicals are pretty darn bearish because we have failed at a lower high made a lower low and we're just chopping in this range underneath and once again that breakdown underneath the resistance we do run that risk that we could fail um, in that area so watch that closely and our technicals here are not bullish um, our 50-day moving average hasn't quite rolled over yet but you can see um, we've got a 200 a 50 or 20 or 34 and our 8 they're all on the wrong side of each other here and we've got a little bit of a um, um, technical problem in in this chart moving average squeeze along with that price resistance up here that we're going to have to deal with next year let's take a look at our vix our vix has been quite interesting here and i think it's just because volume has been so low um, you kind of would have expected a lot more fear to have shown up here on thursday uh, um, with or excuse me on wednesday with the selling that didn't show up and I would have expected a bit more um, excitement or um, fear dropping away on um, such a big up move yesterday um, but we didn't get that either so we're kind of chopping in a range here and when we look at this chart we've 
we certainly want to just take into account that we're below some resistance in the chart. Um, um, we'll have to deal with that next year, whether or not we're going to break through to that upside or um, um, if we see that fear continue to drop away here in the market. So watch that carefully. Um, again, I doubt we get enough price action here today to really change these charts dramatically, but you, you should never say never when it comes to the market. Um, let's take a look at our T2122. T2122 had a nice little improvement yesterday with, whoops, with that bounce back up. Um, so here we are, we're just chopping back and forth in this range. Now remember T2122 doesn't tell us which direction the market's going to go. It just tells us where those pressure points are. So once again, we popped out of this short term oversold. We're back up here toward the mid range, just more chop. What that means is if the bulls find inspiration today, we have upside opportunity here. If the bears find inspiration, we've opened downside op opportunity for those bears to push right back down. So keep a close eye on that today. Again, uh, I think volume, uh, I think um, we'll likely see a lot of traders heading out for holiday plans, shutting down, uh, wrapping up this year. Maybe a little bit disappointed because they didn't get that uh, Santa Claus rally that they were hoping for. But nonetheless, um, um, it, it's been a really, really good year for the market. For for those of us in, in, in right way options, we had a, a very profitable year. We had a great year of training and education, a great year of friendship, a great year of working together as a team to help each other improve his trading. So. You know, by and large, um, Santa Claus rally didn't really matter. Um, we we had a great year overall. So I want to say thank you to everyone who has participated in Right Way Options and been part of the team. I do truly, truly appreciate it. You guys are wonderful. Um, I feel very blessed to uh, just happen to be the guy on the microphone. Um, we always work together, um, and I just think it's... Uh, uh, we just have a good good team of folks um, getting the job done here. So thank you everyone for um, for being with us this year, Le and certainly looking forward to you an even better 2023. Let's take a look at our T twenty one oh eight. T twenty one oh eight improved dramatically yesterday, uh, perking back up but it didn't really fix anything. <laughs> if you notice, we're just stuck in this chop. Um, pushing back up into that price resistance. If we could follow through today and push on through, that might mean something here uh, for, for the day. Um, but you will want to keep in mind there's quite a little bit of resistance up here. 39% uh, of the stocks holding above their 40-day moving average. So, uh, you know, it's kind of like uh, not, not much to be excited about. Our uh, T2107, T2107 also had a nice improvement back up. And again, we're just kind of stuck in this uh, little choppy zone that we've been in. But the good news is, is we're trying to push back up through that little resistance area right there in the chart and holding up. So 41% of the stocks holding above their 200 day moving average. It's not too shabby. So um, keep an eye on that. I still have to give this one to the bulls. And once again, I'm going to skip past T2101 because, well, the fact of the matter is volume has been so low that, you know, it's just really not going to help us um, in figuring out momentum because our momentum is just chop. It's just bouncing around um, here in the market. Um, let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. Now, our economic calendar, as you can see, we really only have one report here that may be somewhat market moving. And that's the Chicago PMI. They're expecting an improvement um, in the Chicago PMI to pop that up to 41. 
Um, remember, anything below 50 shows contraction in the market. So a 41, that would be an improvement over like the 37 something that we saw last time. Um, but um, certainly not saying suggesting that the economy is strong. So um, watch that. If it comes in better than 41, you might get a little bit of a bullish move here on the day. If it comes in and disappoints less than that 41 or even, um, you know, matches or breaks um, the low of last week, that or last month then um, we could expect the bears uh, to have a little bit of activity there on the day after that point we've got a baker hughes rig count and there just isn't anything going on in here we got farm prices later on in the day but not much happening here so um kind of keep that in mind and you also want i want to remind everyone that monday the market will be closed so we've got a three-day weekend to celebrate the holiday um so just be a little bit careful here um, doing a lot of buying and selling on a day like today unless you're doing some intraday trading probably not the best um, best thing to be doing or loading up because we can see some um, significant moves that can always happen over uh, long weekends and then it just gets done to us there's not much we can do about it so watch that close and then if we take a look at our earnings calendar well our earnings calendar is not going to provide us any hope of lots of activity here this morning we have one verified re report today uxin a um, little three dollar stock here um, it's reported already this morning i believe or will be reporting here soon got a little bit of price action in this it's trying to break up here to test this overall downtrend uh, unlikely uh, that you know gives a whole lot of inspiration here for today uh, for the market so just kind of uh, keep that in mind hey if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could do me that quick favor if if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video and if you find these videos to be useful or helpful if you could please do me that favor and click that thumbs up button leave a brief comment that helps the channel to continue to grow I just want to say thank you so much to everyone I, I had a goal of reaching uh, 30,000 subscribers by the end of this year and I didn't quite make it we're at 39,000 just about 400 39,400 so I still got some work to do to reach that 30,000 but you guys I, I gotta be honest I, I am absolutely humbled um, by the kind words that you um, you uh, often uh, leave as, as comments on these videos thank you so much and thank you so much for uh, being here and and supporting the this kind of content it, it's not filled with hype it's not filled with drama it's not filled with a whole bunch of prediction and I just had no idea that there'd be um, that many people that would appreciate that kind of comment or content so thank you everyone you guys are the best let's uh, take a look um, at maybe a few stocks in here we'll want to be paying attention to um, but once again I'm really going to suggest uh, lots and lots of caution here for today um, we've got bond prices moving up a bit this morning um, so those bond prices are going to have maybe just a little bit of a negative effect uh, particularly on the QQQ we'll want to watch that here this morning um, you can see the dollar um, trying to move just a little tiny bit higher here this morning in UUP watch that closely that might mean that we could see um, um, gold moving um, possibly moving a little bit lower gold futures are almost flat this morning so watch that we've got silver in here that you might want to be keeping an eye on both of these charts are in very bullish patterns and I've you know I've talked over and over and over about these uh, the the precious metals the industrial metals things like that um, have been showing lots and lots of improvement here so it would be worth keeping an eye on them 
um, and watching them closely. Um, they may be um, uh, good for the year. In fact, I saw Platinum has had a really good uh, quarter. Um, so a lot of those precious metals and industrial metals have done really, really well here in the last part of the year. Um, so kind of keep that in mind. Um, Stocks that are in that defensive sector have, have done pretty well this quarter um, as well. Um, holding up, as you can see here, Campbell Soup. And I think the reason for that is, is just that rotation to more of safety plays. If we are going to go into a recession next year, and I, I think it would be unlikely, in, in my opinion, and this is just one guy talking, but... I, I think it would be unlikely that we don't go into a recession. I have never, ever seen a bond inversion in my entire trading career. As a matter of fact, I went back on the Federal Reserve website and I have never seen a bond inversion that didn't create a recession. So I, it, could it, could this one be different? Sure. Um, but I think the predominance of evidence um, is going to suggest recession and um, we could be um, we could see these defensive sector stocks holding up a little bit better because they're the the necessary things uh, things that people always need even in a recessionary environment and they pay a dividend yield so keep an eye on those if you're looking for short trades I think we still have to continue to look into um, um, things like the financials um, we've been seeing lots of trouble in the financials here with um, huge numbers of repos housing prices are falling we've got um, the banks are not making lots of loans as a matter of fact they're visiting the federal reserve discount window which they really don't want to borrow from but they are doing it pretty heavily right now um, I think there may be some issues coming here in the near future on the financials so I would watch for some potential short trade setting up here uh, keeping in mind that they're going to be some of the first to report next quarter so um, we'll get um, we'll get a heads up on those um, pretty soon so watch that close um, I think anything in tech anytime we see big drops in stocks um, like we did in NVIDIA. Um, any rally back to resistance levels here in the chart, we'll want to watch that for that next opportunity to maybe pick up a short position uh, for further downside. So, um, and there are, are a lot of those. You know, Apple had a pretty good bounce yesterday, um, but I got to tell you, there's nothing about this chart that's bullish yet. Um, so any rally back to these resistance levels would be an opportunity maybe to pick up um, a short position. So keep an eye on that. I think next year um, could be a, a, a rather challenging year. I think it's going to be a stock picker's um, market. Um, what, what I mean by that is there's going to be longs and shorts potentially out there um, in the market and we're really going to have to be focused in on good technical analysis um, to pick up opportunities um, in the market. I think we'll probably see a lot more of choppy consolidations um, next year. Now again that's just a thought process. I'm not trying to predict that. I just think the way the market is setting up here, that may be um, a large, uh, a, a, a big possibility. So we're going to have to be pretty attuned to the price action going into next year. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all of the best. Thank you so much for being here and truly a heartfelt thank you to everyone who participated in right way options or even thinking about participating in right way options next year we'd love to have you we had a great year looking for another great year in 2023 um, thank you everyone have a wonderful uh, new year's eve holiday i want to wish you all the best stay safe and we'll see you right back here bright and early next tuesday morning have a good one